Hi friends, this is Ramana. Today I will show a demo on how to insert rows into your table when one column of your table has identity and other column has default constraint. So how can you insert the data into this table? So first I will show my, uh, show my table. This is my EMP table which contains three columns ID, name and joining date. So if you see the structure of this table, ID have identity. Identity means identity property with serial increment 1, comma 1. So joining date has default constraint. Default constraint on, on column joining date. What the constraint is default it will take get date. So whenever you don't have any joining date of details of the employee. It, it will consider as get date as the joining date. So here, uh, ID as identity with one comma one joining date is default constant with get date. So in this case, how can you insert the values into the table? I will show in this demo. So in general, when you want to insert the data into any table, so this is the syntax: insert into table name values here we already know the id is the, uh, identity so you need not specifically mention the id column again you know, just you pass the uh, name care name value and after that um, joining it also it's a default get dead so even though even though you you, you are not passed a in a joining date, it will take get it as the default date. So here I am passing only name into this table as the first record. What it says column name or number of separate values does not match with the table definition. So <coughs> it is saying you will pass one more value or else it, it will it will not accept. So in this case what we can do here is you specifically mention the name name values values in, in values you mention name of the value and within single quotes so if you pass now it will execute the insert statement now one row affected so we have three Column says there we pass just to value for one column. So uh, remaining will take automatically one one is ID, name, and join date is get date of agreement that means today's date. So yeah, if you have uh, instead of get date, if you if you have some if you have in information of employee joining data as well uh, the column name here joining date and mention your joining date your joining date suppose um, I have information that the this particular employee has joined on February 15th so I am passing that same February 15th so that here default on joining date will, will not be applicable so we know that so and so employee is joining on a particular date that's why we pass the column name and first in values you can pass the date of this employee so if you insert this one so second row affected and get this uh, table again. So here you find two records. One is with the default joining date and second one is the joining date of that particular employee. Pass the joining date in this manner. That means instead of values comma. So I am taking the third member, third employee. I am passing the Giant rate as suppose um, March 
fourth. March fourth is join date. So if you pass the values in this way, it, it can also accept. See here. Three ways to pass your default values at the time of the insertion of the data. So first one this is the if you pass this first statement it will take default data as get data and insert the data so if you have some information on default column even though there is a default constraint you need to mention the name of this column within the parentheses and mention your values after after name with comma or else if you want to insert the employees with value yeah, with name and joining date instead of passing the name and joining date particularly so these are the three ways to <coughs> handle the joining uh, to handle the default constraint of the of your column if your table have so this is very important at the time of the inserting the data so uh, if you directly mention <coughs> enter the data like this it will throw error it is asking to supply um, one more value as per the data uh, data structure at the time you have to make like this insert into table name and within the parentheses mention your um, column names here uh, i mentioned the joining date and mention your values with comma separated so that it will execute so we if you don't want to insert any particular value if you want to only um, date of the name of the um, employee then you can go directly like this so so that it will take so that it will take um, a default value of the column that is get date as the joining date so here i am inserting and it will take joining date as default value so in this way you can handle the default constraint at the time of the insertion of the data thanks for watching the video thank you very much